Hey guys, what's up? I'm outside today. We got to put more water in the duck's pool and we got some friends coming over tonight for a little s'mores and little fire kind of thing going on. So I'm really kind of digging this road mic. Um, super windy right now and I somebody across the way is cutting firewood and there's boats out on the water um, and it's kind of really holding its own right now we um, the reason I'm over here by the hot water tank is the outlet on the other side of the house broke the hose is normally hooked into so um, kind of lazy to fix it so this is the easiest way is the hook to this little uh, that was what was giving me a problems earlier that's why I shut it off little outlet right here and it's good to drain your water heater with all the rust water and stuff like that so that's kind of how I do I let the, all the rust water drain out and then I hook up the main hose to it all right so that actually went a lot faster than I thought because I had just drained it out about a week ago um we got a new duck we got a new duck so if you guys haven't seen the new duck Arabella calls it splash so, <laughs> I don't know why um, but Marsha brought it over when we lost our, our chickens. Um, yeah, they ran away one night when we left them outside in the pen. Um, so this is probably the nastiest water ever. I came out one time and I saw Arabella throwing mud into it. I was like, stop throwing mud in there, it's dirty enough. So I already started the fire. We haven't used that fire pit all winter, obviously. Um, it's been sitting outside, so I figured I'd better like heat it up and let some of the rust pop off it. So cool thing that happened the other night. I got to Snapchat with Jarl Anderson, and it was crazy because um, he's kind of like the, one of the guys that got me into it, but every time I watch his channel, it's like, yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> That would be my impersonation. One of the things, like in my life lately, is on Tuesday I just started having this really intense hip pain, um, and it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, and the last time that happened, I had a blood clot when I was deployed down in Cuba, and so I kind of let it sit for two days. Um, it was like waking me up in the middle of the night, couldn't sleep just really bad, like almost in tears, crying. Everything I did, every time I moved in the bed so finally on Friday I just like I'm gonna go ask my mom because she's a nurse at the hospital and she's like you need to get him in you need to get checked out um, turned out it wasn't blood clot which is nice um, and then I and then today miraculously I did something can't tell you what I did I did something and the pain like just went away it's gone now like before I couldn't even like lift my knee up it was just like I couldn't even uh, 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 just stuck there and now I can you know I can lift it up to my waist and it still hurts a little bit but man it's like whoa if only I could do that all the time uh, I want to get these ducks in the frame here they love it when they get clean water <laughs> should probably do it more often I'm a bad duck father um, but we took pipsqueak we actually went down to the beach we go down to the beach quite a bit um, when there's like nothing to do and the weather's not too bad because we live right there so we just took pip squeak down to the beach and he's like eating seaweed and swimming around and having a great time um so we loved it we got that black duck from marcia and kind of like just wanders off he got stuck under the porch for half a day so so this has got to be one of the funnier things um rosie today broke the cereal dispenser that we had and full of cereal so I'm trying to fix it put this knob back in that turns and it just pff, whole we just poured a whole box of cereal in, just everywhere all over the floor and I'll probably try to cut to that video and show you guys that um, but the whole box ruined I was like what am I gonna do I'll just put it out here for the ducks <laughs> and so the ducks are just eating honey nut cereals like it's nobody's business <laughs> <laughs> but it was one of those moments where I was like waiting for it and be like what did you do and I was like everybody out of the kitchen right now <laughs> so hi guys today we're tonight we're gonna have a bonfire 
<laughs> the fire's slowing down, Dad. We're on our way to go pick up Edna. She just got off work. She's been playing this game with me lately where she um, locks the door when I try to get in the car. So, I'm kind of looking forward to this because I'm going to do it right back to her. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Hi, get you back. I'm good like that. Darn it. It's because I was filming. I was yeah, distracted. Yeah. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Sucker. You sure seem to have high hopes. <laughs> you can't get me, sucker. I'm sorry, guys. I just I couldn't get her. Uh, I'm actually filming this in my truck. I'm headed back in to get gas. It's tax-free day, so it's like twice a year they don't have sales tax in town. So everyone goes out and fills their trucks up and buys a lot of stuff and. Uh, so I'm going back into town filming this because I didn't want to say this in the car with Edna because then she would just yell and rub in my face. Stand next to me, Kayla. You can hold my hand at the same time. No, I won't take. I won't take the stick. I promise. <laughs> the dog. The dog. The dog's been eating. <laughs> I love you, babe. Love you.